Okay, guys, um, this is pretty much going to be the last Bionicle video I make. From now on, I'll just be releasing other things, like, um, gameplay mostly. I've, I've been, I've been caught up in some games like Halo and Halo 2. If you played them, you know how addictive they can be. Um, but this and then that knife is going to be the last Bionicle. I may or may not make the knife, I don't know. But this is pretty much going to be the last actual Bionicle video. I may make one lo a long ways down the road, but my next thing is probably going to be a machinima or a live action film that is totally new. It's not going to be a new God Rabbit. It's not going to be a weekly web series. It's just going to be a new video. And um, I may have... It may be a, a documentary. It may be something else. I'm not sure. So, um, without further ado... Um, let me explain this to you. Today I'm building Toa Andrew from the Hero Stone 2. You may have seen it. Now, um... Yeah, I'm just going to show you how to build him. This is going to be like a two or three part video, so... Bear with me. If you have ADD, well, screw you then, because... I'm not responsible for your problems, I'm only responsible for my own video views and nothing else. So if you're complaining the videos are too long, just stop watching my videos. I honestly don't care about the views anymore. Just because I don't get any, you know. So, uh, and I'm not being emo either. So uh, let me take this guy apart and show you how to build him. Okay guys, uh, just ignore the noise in the background. Um, since I have so many pieces in this set, in this mock, I'm just going to build it for you and um, explain as I go, okay? So here we go. It's just going to be like the basic Anika build with some slight modifications, but that's going to be it. So you're going to take your Paraka torso and um, one of these triple length clickers, stick it in there, the top of those two holes, and a single depth right here. And then you put this on, this is right, this top hole is going to be on the triple clicker, like that. Then, um, this is just going to be the basic body build. Then, we're going to put, um, this, uh, it's going to be one of those triple in the middle, uh, the longer of the leg pieces, arm leg pieces, I don't know what else to call them. Um, and then here we go, um, just do two of those. For the legs, or if you want to build the legs separately like you normally are supposed to do in the sets with the Anika, then do that instead. Then you're going to take your Anika and, um, leg armor, leg and armor piece, and just clip it on there, like that, both sides. These legs are a mirror image of each other, so there's no difference. The arms are more complicated, though. So, there are the legs. Um, obviously you know how to build the feet, so just take two of these and the feet. The gold, You're going to need gold met toe metro feet, by the way, and these yellow ball sockets with the plus holes in them. And you're going to put them here, and then you're just going to put them in the uh, feet. On the now the one thing I hate about these is they break all the time. I want to um, absolutely... Just scream at the top of my lungs at how horrible they are. This, the, those were the early years build. I think that was the Fantoko when these came out. Yeah, in fact, these pieces are from Toa Ignika, which I took apart because I absolutely hated the set because it was so boring to play with. Anyway, sorry, I'm not in a very good mood right now. So, um, next, uh, it depends on. It's nine o'clock. Okay, it depends on your personal preference of what you want to do. I'm gonna build the arms. So take, now, the only reason I have this one, this gray one, is because the other piece like this broke, the ball socket broke completely. So you're going to want to get two of these yellow ones. I'm just going to demonstrate with one. And then you're going to take one of these um, uh, plus rods with the stud connector. Um, two of these black plus rods, the small ones with the notches. And um, three of these black bracket spacer things with two holes in them and they're half depth and um, one of these one of these um, uh, 90 degree angle plus and double clicker you're gonna want one of these no wait no sorry 
wrong armor. One of these uh, Metru shoulder armor, gold. And you're also going to want one of these half depth clicker and then full depth clicker, gray. And then you're just, so what you're first going to do is you're going to take um, these, the, the half depth spacers, two of them, and put them on like this. See that? And uh, where the great piece go? It goes like this. Just through there. Put it through. Make sure it goes through that hole. And then um, I think I'm supposed to do something else, but I don't remember what. Dang, I'm really messed up. Um, so what you're gonna want to do basically is just to connect this to there. Oh wait, sorry. You're gonna need. Wait, how many are you going to need? Oh, no, you're only going to need two of these. You're going to need this one for up here as well. Dang, I smell smoke. <laughs> then you're going to put these like this at 90 degree angles. And, and just put it like that so this thing doesn't have any rotation or slop in it. And then this goes like that. And then you have that so it can grab the, um, where is it? Oh, it's over here. This piece. And um, then you put the plus rod through here. And the clicker piece here in the top. Then you're going to put the clicker piece on this. Wait, is that where it goes? Yeah, that's the only place it can go on. So don't try putting it any lower. Next, you're just going to put on the lower arm. And then mirror image this for the other. And then obviously you're going to put on the hand. And then mirror image that build for the other arm. If I were you, I'd put this piece, though, in the back. So that's what I'm going to do. Just, yeah, just build a mirror image of this arm. Okay, now that you've done that and you looks like a Metroid, even though I don't play the game and have no idea what they really look like, um, uh, you're gonna put on his leg armor. I forgot about that. I guess you don't really, you didn't really need to do it at the beginning. So you're gonna take these remaining two um, gray clicker pieces, and then the the gold armor, the gold shin or thigh armor. Sorry, from the Metro. Clip it on right there, like that. You should be able to do this. Do it for both legs. There's no up and there's no down, as you can see. So now you have his body. Um, go back and watch the other part of the video if you're wondering how I did this arm. Um, just mirror image what I showed you to do. Don't copy it, because otherwise you're going to have two arms with the armor on this side. And then you can't articulate it. Well, you could do something, but whatever. Okay, next you're going to... I guess you could put on the head... We'll do the weapons last. Um, so obviously you're just going to put on a head like a standard Anika or Paraka or whatever. Except for the fact that this thing's facing forward. So you're just going to put it in forward like that. You'll see why it doesn't look so bad anyway in the end. Then you're going to take the red eye color. I always use red for Tell Andrew. I don't know why. Because he's not exactly 100% good. Because he'll still kill people. Then you're going to take it and just put it on obviously. And then put on the mask. It's, it has to be the Toalicon mask, otherwise you're ripping me off and I'll sue you for a hundred thousand dollars so I can become a YouTube partner or something. That made absolutely no sense. Anyway, next, um, you're gonna take this gold, uh, Nuva armor. It came from a Nuva chest armor. It came from Taka Nuva. And you're gonna put it on there. So next we're going to do the weapons.